Hi friends, welcome back to Panda Class with Mr. B. Today's story is Game of Gnomes. This is by Kirsten Mayer, illustrated by Lara Horton. Oh, I like this story a lot, friends. This story is written in 2017. Meet Ginger the Gnome. Every ever gnome in the garden knows her by her curly red hair. Hi, Ginger. It's so red. It's so curly. There's Ginger. Who? The redhead. Oh, right. The redhead. Ginger would rather just be called Ginger. Do you want a new haircut? asked her friend Al. No, I like my hair, Ginger says. I just want to be known for something else. I can run fast and jump high and catch the wind. Well, winter is coming, says Norm. He means the winter gnome game, says Al with a nod. Why don't you compete? I bet you'll win. I'll do it, says Ginger. I can rock this. <laughs> Winter Gnome Games, the Parade of Gnomes, is the very next day. Ever Gnome in the garden is excited for the Winter Gnome Games, and even the squirrels wake up for it. <laughs> All the squirrels. The first sport Ginger tries is sledding. I'll be, be way more fun if I shred this hill standing up. She hops on the pine cone, shingle sled, and pushes off. She surfs down the hill and finishes faster than all the other gnomes. The crowd cheers and whistles, go red! Ginger frowns. That's not my name. mean. That was amazing, cheers Al. Evernome is going to start snowboarding now, says Norm. From the judge's table there is whispering. Engelbert and Grandmaster of the Gnome Games frowns over his glasses. Hmm. Disqualified, he grumbles. You are supposed to sit on a sled, not stand on it. Oh. Gnomes glide onto the ice rink and pick up for the figure skating competition. Ginger feels a need for speed. She races around the track and throws in a spin at the end. Ta-da! Disqualified, yells Yinkleburnt. You didn't hit the snow bunny pose. You're on thin ice. I don't know if I like this. Wow, Ginger, you were super fast. You're the best skater I've ever seen, says Al. Thanks, but I still didn't win. Partly shouts. Hey, Curly, better luck next time. Ginger gives him the cold shoulder. I have to win my next event, says she says. I'm on a curling team. Why curling, says Norma. The ice hockey teams were full. Ginger steps out onto the ice with Earl, Cliff, and Eunice. When she sees Eagle Burton take off his cap to scratch his head, Ginger can't resist showing off her perfect aim. She turns the broom over and whacks the curl stone that sails through the air and right into the whiskered gnome's red cap. Go! she shouts. Ingerbert frowns. Impressive aim, but this isn't hockey. Disqualified. Mm, that's not good. 
Ginger sighs. She sits down to lace her skates back up. Behind her, Al trims the squirrel's bushy tail for the closing ceremony. But when a finch flies by, it scares the squirrel who leaps away with Al along for the ride. <gasps> oh no! Ginger springs into action. She grabs a pine cone sled and races down the hill. Then she leaps onto the ice of a frozen puddle and skates across so fast she's a blur. I'm coming, Al! She grabs a twig and swings at a small frozen mushroom and whizzes the cap into the bushes behind the runaway squirrel. All the snow shakes loose and falls into a heap and stops the squirrel in its tracks. Al lands safely in the snowbank with a plop. Thanks, Ginger. You saved me. That was the best gnome work I've ever seen, says Al. You're welcome. I do my best for my friends. Ever gnome saw Ginger's daring rescue. They carry Ginger and Al on their shoulders, cheering as they go. Ginger the hero! Ginger what has perfect aim! Ginger's the fastest gnome ever! Back at the games, Egobert walks over to Ginger and hangs a medal around her neck. Ginger, you are getting a special prize for excellent athletic skill used in a search and rescue mission. You are the winner of the Daisy Medal for best all around gnome work. Ever gnome cheers as loudly as they can. Ginger the gnomes smiles. She is known for something other than her red hair. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, cool. Way to go, Ginger. After much celebration, Ginger skis through the garden to go home. She looks so proud. You see? Nice job, Ginger. Inside, her brothers and sisters pile on top of her. We want to be in the gnome games, too, they cry. Have you ever heard of a rodeo? Oh, friends, what a cute story that is. Game of Gnomes. I like that story a lot, friends. Well, thanks for stopping by at Panda Class with Mr. B. That's me. All right, friends, let's put our left hands in the air on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Pinch pop, pinch pop, cheese, cheese, cheese. Pinch pop, pinch pop, cheese, cheese, cheese. See you again soon. Bye.